please, for the love of God, do not freeze up on me. Oh my fucking god! I'm not in the mood to deal with this shit again, man. It's just fucking stupid. Qu longest race of season two and has to have that issue. It's fucking random, too. I can't predict it. This is why doing st stupid shit like this takes hours. Stupid fucking shit like this. Hey guys, this is What If Here. Welcome back, NASCAR 2003. For race 12 or 36, season 3. Um, obviously, if you saw the beginning of the video, I had to do this shit again. I was so mad because that race was going along so well, and um, I had to kind of calm the hell down for five hours so that was that was fun so i'm trying this again hopefully everything goes okay um we're going into this with the same stuff as the car rating and uh, stuff as before so again like we all started everything was fine so yeah r and d were five more races away from the engine efficiency so we've been pretty okay at lows in the past so we should be okay last points race was at richmond and we actually got top five so i don't know if we'll be able to match that level of greatness again but I don't know, we'll give it a shot. But anyways, without further ado, I'm going to head straight into qualifying, show you the race setup. Not in that order, obviously, and then we're going to get into everything else. Here's the car setup for the race. Uh, change the tire pressures to 22. That I think that should help it out here. I'm hoping that it's not going to fall apart. Um, down for it's the same suspension, the same. I bumped the wedge down to 0 0.5. It's just a little bit looser. And gear ratio, pretty much the same as the reference site, so... That's about it. So anyways, without further ado, I'm going to get into qualifying. Can we start in the pool? I don't know, but that's why we watch to find out. Last time around. Turn for the first lap, so 30.2. We'll see what this is when we cross the line, and it's a 30.6, a lot faster than the first, and pull. I had a, I had a hunch. I had a hunch it was going to be the pull. But now, the big question is, can we lead a lap? Me and Mark Martin start up in the front row. Let's get this Coke 600 underway here. Three, two, one. Green flags out, we're underway, got 40 laps, longest race obviously of the, the points paying season and just overall, block mark up high, get back down the bottom. I just want to lead a lap. I mean, I, I don't know how in the world this is going to be possible when we have drivers like Jarrett, Mark, and Stewart. All of them are very fast as we're just blocking lanes left and right, up, down, diagonally. Oh my god, I, I didn't even have a chance. Jesus Christ. So... There goes my dream. Thanks, Jarrett. Well, I mean, we'll try to see what we can do in the straights here. It kind of seems like uh, California, where we're kind of good in the straights, not good in the corners. I'm just hoping that the tire pressures are going to help the car out overall and not make it, you know, suck. Because I keep, I always keep getting comments about that, like, you know, what if you need to lower the tire pressures and all that. And like, I try, I do that. I try to do it, and then when I do, it just makes the car handle worse or something and it's like if some people tell me to go all the way down to 15 it's like if i did that the car would be so fast for like a few laps but then it would just be garbage so like worse than what it's been in the videos on youtube so i i, I don't know at this point all i would all i wanted was just to lead a lap and i couldn't even get that the first run oh that was fucking fantastic there i was i'd let five laps in that well that's not good that's never going to happen in the canon universe so the game yet again purposely Puts me at my most weakest condition or a weakest emotional state or, or whatever. And that's just how it's going to go. It's just that's how I'm going to lose any chance of getting a top five in the championship standings is because of stupid shit like that. So thank you, PS2 or NASCAR Thunder, whatever. Oh, thanks outside wall too. Thank you. Now, that's, I'm, God, I, I, I'm too mad to focus. Tony Stewart, are you okay? <laughs> what in the world was that? Well, I mean, we get fourth. That was weird. The 20 car, okay, Tony. It, it, like, not even two laps later, he just drives straight around me. 
He can make a, a, just a stupid mistake like that and still drive completely around me. That's that's lovely. Still in fifth place, just chilling uh, behind Tony Stewart. He's not really pulling away from me. I'm just I'm kind of keeping up with him. I'm kind of like on the outskirts of his draft just a little bit. But as of right now, everything's going okay. Tires are falling off a little bit, but it's not anything ter like tremendously bad. So this is I'm I'm quite surprised with this. The car feels good again it just does not feel like a winning car like uh it just feels like we're, we're we're just so close we just probably need like one more upgrade of some kind i don't know why did i burp i haven't had anything to drink in like 10 minutes well the leader and uh tony stern went down pure i think that might have been jared as the leader but yeah i'm that was one hell of an intense battle trying to keep up with Stuart, and it's nice to see the the speed of the car kind of pay off there so i mean we're gonna pay on lap 20 so really nothing shocking there kind of doing it like midway through the races anymore so that's our plan nothing really too crazy man down barrel this time by 70 miles an hour and all that really good first half i'll say so myself just there we go oof okay come on there we go so four tires fuel i don't know why the wedge is not doing that why is the tire pressure at 25 i don't know what's going on anymore. Fifteen point two second stop. Good job on the pit crew. I'm starting to wonder if maybe I should have uh, kept the tire pressures down to twenty two. But I don't know why it was set to twenty five unless that's like the default pit settings. I don't really know. But as long as we get like a top ten out of this race or even a top five, I think I'll I'll, I'll be pretty content because that was that was a really good run the first half there. It's just didn't really make any mistakes. Um, lost the lead early, but I mean I couldn't really compete with Jared or Mark or them so. Well, what do you expect? So, I'm gonna see where we cycle out. I'm just hoping we get uh, we get back into fifth place like we were. The 17 car is still there. Oh wow, that was J Dale Jarrett that blew up. Oh, that's gonna change everything now because he was one of the, he was the race leader. So, all right, that's that's really good for us. But Kenseth is all over my ass and he won't leave me alone. So I might lose fifth place. I don't know. But the only good thing that's that's coming out of this is that. Um, the leaders are going to get caught in some lap traffic, so it might be able to gain another cheeky position or two, so that's really about the only thing I can say is Kenseth, I don't know where in the world he's getting all this horsepower from, but he's just going to completely just drive right around me like I'm standing still, so um, there goes my top five. God damn it, Kenseth. Wait, no, we're fighting back. We're fighting back. Nope, no, wait, maybe? Me no, no, okay. I tried. Well, this is stupid. Um, thanks, Frank Kimmel, for being a roadblock to everybody. So I just kind of sneaked on by in the bottom, got by him, and yeah, we're about to lose sixth to Harvick and go back to seventh. But uh, well, I mean, it might happen again because somehow Kenseth and Harvick just have so much more horsepower than me. Um, it, that's weird for me to say, but I was running so well in the first half, I didn't know where they got the speed all of a sudden, unless they pitted so much later than me that they just have so much fresher tires and grip and all of that. All that, you know, fancy stuff. Reaching more lap cars up in front of me. We got uh, Jeff Green, uh, Shane Hall, and I think a custom car. So that's going to be very big for us. They're blocking both lanes. So that's going to, you know, log jam everybody else behind me. Because I'm the only one that has common sense to make it three wide and get by them all. So, um, yeah. Just been kind of doing uh, normal things like going into sweat mode, focusing, concentrating. Um, other than some of these uh, lap cars here and there, just been kind of quiet. But we get by the last of those cars. Junior looks like he's getting stuck behind one of them. And that, yep, he, he just completely brake checked Junior. So that's going to save us a couple of laps there. So thank you, Custom Car, for that. Five laps left to go in the race. Still chilling in fifth. No, uh, no more lap cars around me. But Junior and Harvick have, you know, caught up to me finally. I mean, they are obviously way, way faster than me. I just got to try to hold them off as much as I can. That's really the only thing I can do. I really want a top five just for my ego's sake. Maybe we'll catch some of these lap cars up in front of me, and that can be one of the best saving graces. But this car is really starting to fall off now. Oh, Lord. Barely hanging on to fifth. Do we clear junior? Yes, we do. We hang on to freaking fifth for now. Oh, my God. I'm going to go to the, I'm, I'm going to... My poor hand's going to be, like, in the hospital after this race. It's just turning to left so damn much. Hello, junior. Good afternoon. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, you know what? I, I can't get to the bottom. I, damn it. That might be it for me. Yeah. Damn it! And there goes Harvick as well. Try to pinch him. <laughs> that was very dirty, but we got it. We maintain. We get. We keep six at least. There are lap cars in front of me, so ooh, this could be a big help for me. This could say. This could. This could get me right back into a top five. Or I could just choke the corner away too. That helps. Ooh, that looks like <laughs> looks like Chad Chaff, and and he's gonna continue to hold up Junior. Oh, okay, not anymore. But there's still more lap cars in front of me. There's still hope. There's still hope for me to to cheese the top five as the car just. I'm go what what was it like 150 and it, it was getting like the All Star race now. How bad it's turning. Is that Frank Kimmel gonna go a lap down again? No, that's another. That's a who, what? Who is that? Is that? Another custom car? Yeah, it looks like a custom car. Who's that now? Is that Jeff Gordon? No, it looks like Jerry Nadeau. Looks like Jerry. Okay, well, uh, now all of a sudden uh, everybody's being nice to Junior, so yeah, everybody, every, uh, every, apparently everybody's getting paid. Uh, paying Junior to help him out to get top five, which is kind of unfortunate. So we're very we're so damn close to getting a top five, but just the car just started to fall, just fall falter a little bit near the end. Obviously, as you saw, white flags out again. Another really really solid race in terms of the speed. The handling was not the greatest, but God Almighty, if if the Getting a top 10 is a bad thing now at this point. That, that must mean we're doing good in this career mode so far. So it may not be a championship contending team this year, but we're definitely going to be a threat to be inside the top 10 at the end of the season. We're going to come across the line in P6, a solid uh, Coke 600. I couldn't really ask for anything better. Jarrett wins. I thought he blew up. So yeah, Robert Yates won too, so a good run for both of them. Stewart gets fourth. I couldn't really ask anything more out of that. That was a really good race. Let's see what our earnings are. It should be pretty good, and it is. Another 1.1 million in the bank, so great job for our team. Another solid run. Just wish we led some laps. Um, where did uh, Jeff Purvis finish? 18th. Amy Hicks. The, why are those two finishing next to each other? <laughs> good run for Purvis, though. He gained a lot. So that was... I like that. Wish I got top five, but I'll, I'll take this. Oh boy, next race is Dover, and that track's been always such a brutal track for me, so I'm not looking forward to that at all. Um, I don't know. Let's just uh, look at the overhaul and repair, if there's anything worth improving. I don't really know if there is, but we're going to look at it. So, 73, 74 for a repairing. What would be if we overhauled those? 70, well, 77? Mine's looking at the right one. Oh, God, I got, I'm 97, okay, both tonight. Okay, I guess I was looking at the right one. I'm, well, might as well overhaul. We got four million in the bank. We can just overhaul whatever the hell we want at this point. So chassis, let's look at the repair. 97, so 73, 76, 76. What would it be if we overhauled it? Uh, 73, 76. Okay, so it would barely go up, so. It might not be worth uh, upgrading that, so we're just gonna repair that normally. They're both for two races. I'm really not gonna hurt anything doing it this way. Save a little bit of money, I suppose. So there we go. Now let's go to cars, build a new one, put in uh, the you know fresh engine and chassis for Dover because we're gonna. Oh my God! I just backed out. Why am I so stupid? Why? I just ba I just backed out to a thing that I already. I'm so I'm so stupid. I'm sorry. Oh my God. So there we go. Engine. Chassis. That thing. There we go. That's what we need. Save changes. Is this the right one? Yes, it is. Okay. Car rating is 76. That might be the highest one we had up to this point. I don't know, but it's good. Four more races on the R&D. Oh, my goodness. Let's check the point standings. And we're still in six, which... Been sixth place. Look, oh, my... If we finish sixth, it's right. Get our six in points. The points is 1660. Because... Oh, my... The game's telling me something. It's not good. So, Tony starts still the points there. Jared, why am I burping? Why? J Tony starts still the points there. Jared's a little bit further back. Mark's 100 points back. Junior's kind of in the mix, sort of. Besides him not really doing, not having any wins, he's doing pretty good. So, that's something worth noting. And Jeff Gordon, we actually have more wins than Jeff Gordon so far this season. That's weird to say, but um, this season's turning out to be good. I just wish some of those tracks like Atlanta and Dover, like, 
those will be improved because I feel like we're going to go way back, almost outside top 10 points. I guarantee it. So, oh, that was a good race. Just wish I didn't have to do that twice. So, I'm done. Like I always say, I do appreciate love, feedback, and support. All you guys give me in the comment section below and as well as liking the video because it does help me a lot in the long run. Also, big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters Dan Rails, Braden Hills, Scott Browning, Mark Kohler, Roland Hoffer, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ronnie Lazar, and Jeff Gordon for a donation. Again, I can't say enough how much I appreciate each and every single one of you, and all of you are just are awesome, and I can't thank you enough for it. And I'll see you all at Dover. I think the camera ran maxed out on its time limit thing of a jig, so there you go. That's fun. So I'll see you all next race. I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.